Hey boys and girls, Teacher Gabe here with three minutes of thunder. Maybe you missed Pastor Diego coming down with the lightning, but no worries, because we're here to recap his message in the big church, and we're gonna bring the thunder. Let's get to it. Pastor continued in this series, No Cap, part three, and it was all about the gospel. But what does gospel mean? It means good news. You see this newspaper here? It's just filled with bad news because there's a lot of bad things happening in the world right now. But Jesus brought good news. Pastor showed us three times in the Bible where Jesus brought good news in a time of trouble. In Luke chapter four, Jesus brought good news as a young boy when he read out of the book of Isaiah and he showed how he was literally everything he was reading about. Amazing. In Matthew chapter five, Jesus gives good news while he was preaching, talking about those who are poor in spirit and those who are humble and how they will be blessed and blessed means happy. These people are gonna be happy one day and that is some good news. In Matthew chapter 25, Jesus says that good news has to go to people who need it and that's some good news. Boys and girls, the gospel is so important because without it, life just gets too hard. Maybe you're at home right now and you're having trouble doing your schoolwork because there's not a teacher to help you out or maybe you're having trouble getting along with the people who live in your own house. Without the gospel, you have no hope that that situation will get better. And without the gospel, we don't get any of the things that Jesus promised us, like living forever with him. Maybe you're watching this right now and you've never believed in the gospel. You've never believed that Jesus died on a cross and resurrected for your sins. If that's you, I want you to repeat after me and we're gonna say a prayer together. Dear Lord Jesus, I repent of my sins. I pray that you make me a new heart and I acknowledge you as my Lord and Savior. Amen. Welcome to Couch Questions, where you guys sit down as a family and ask each other questions. We got a few to get you started. First one, and this is kind of a challenge. Can you explain the gospel with a mouthful of food? We wanna see that. Make sure you record it and tag us. Number two, what's the best news you've ever gotten? Number three, how can you share the gospel with friends that you have at school or on a team or at an after school activity? Thanks for hanging out with us boys and girls. This has been three minutes of thunder. See you next week.